So what's up YouTube, it is Kyojinex for a video in English about V3 Shooting Plus. What is V3 Shooting Plus? It's an application who allowed you to configure your Bluetooth controller and just depending on the way how you connect it, you can, with V3 Shooting Plus, assign your buttons in the place where the actions of the game, uh, the controls, just uh, you just have to configure it anyways i'll show you let's go so here we are now with the application v3 shooting plus just touch it and go to look at what is to do with it after it loads all the game you can see that the pg 9083s it's on the direct mode the direct mode is the easy way to configure your controller because it goes directly with the touch that allows you to do with V3 Shooting Plus. Now you can see that in V3 Shooting Plus you have plenty of games who the settings are pre-installed already. I don't play all these games but for the one I used to do that video Call of Duty, it for it worked fine for me. It's not easy on the beginning, but let's go and check it out in the game. So now that the game is booted, let's see in the settings what we can do for a V3 Shooting Plus software. Just go to custom layout in the controls panel. After that, you have to press the button start and hold it to have the button showing themselves. After that, we can allocate the buttons in the, the layout in the screen. So let's see if I touch the left storage stick. It will put it in right in the center. After that, I can drag it, touch it and depose it where I want. The left joystick, I wanted to use this for the movement, so in Call of Duty, the movement on the left side. Now let's see if I touch the right joystick and put it in the place I want it to touch. After that, we have the speed setting for the right stick setting I put it at 2 and I think it's okay you can do that for all the buttons in the layout that you just want to press it and allocate what you want just to do the thing you want like say the X button I want it to recharge so I put it in the case of the the circle of the recharge button you can do that for all the touch panels so now that's what I'm doing and after that you can just uh, Make the opacity or just take it to zero. That would make them invincible, invisible. There are really a plenty of things and possibilities that we can do with the controller Bluetooth and with the applications V3 Shooting Plus. But right now, I'll just show you that so you can easily configure it like you want and that yourself. So let's play and see if that works really good or maybe not. As you can see in the demonstration right here, you can look and yeah, I, I can play well with my system with the controller and V3 Shooting Plus. So yeah, I just uh, wish you have good, having good times and I know in the first time it's not perfect, but just try and... You, you're gonna see that it's worked great, it works just fine. And yeah, maybe I hope to see you soon in the game. And I leave you to the demonstrations below.
yeah that was the video that i did for, in french so now it's in english but yeah thanks you uh, this is how i set up uh, my controller when i want to play call of duty or some other games that need the touch and absolute the touch you need to by different way it not works in some of the applications so yeah so just leave a, a thumbs up and comment in the comment sections and yeah i will respond uh, respond you uh, right back so this is qgnx so just uh, share and comment and uh, subscribe to my channel because i'm gonna do some other uh, videos like this so thank you and see you soon ciao ciao